The Beast. Work hard, play hard. Work hard, play hard. Yep. <laughs> That's what my dad says. Yep. But anyway. As the Beast says, bitches. Hello, everybody. Well, welcome to another edition of... Uh, uh, the choir ministry. Well, my show. My show. Uh, welcome to... Uh, uh, the show, bitch. of, uh... Uh, my show. You know, the Beast doesn't put out many videos because he's so busy just with so many girls and just so much sex and so many drugs and, you know, fine dining and, you know, I think, the, I think last week the My Beast favorite was part of every Beast video is how he belabors every point and repeats the same points over and over again. That's because he wants you to work hard, TJ, and he wants you to play hard. The third part of Swag Fakes vs. Gangs is maybe coming up soon. Maybe. Sweet. Um, he feels like it. If his dick gets a rest. Um, oh, I said I was going to do the generation, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. actually, I yeah, was. You did sure. say that. Um, said it. Obviously, the beast said it, TJ. Obviously, uh, there, there are uh, be videos also going on daily motion, wow. talking about daily more motion. stuff. Uh, daily motion, beast, and more daily about motion. the relationship thing in it. Yeah, all yeah. that Beast gives you some relationship, so advice. relationship how to advice get, from uh, the How beast. to get bitches. Step one, be the beast. Step two, get laid. Oh, What done. else do you need to know? Done. What is really, really pissing <coughs> me off about these women nowadays? These bitches. Like, this is pissing me off, and I hope they change. Yeah. For the yeah, better when I'm done beast. with this video. They change to suit the beast's taste and desires. Look. These, Get on it. These fucking hoes be disrespecting the beast. You know, beast needs what he needs. He needs an obedient woman. Who don't Obey the beast. No shit. Don't fucking even talk to the beast. The beast. Now, I'm sick and tired of these ladies. I, I mean, <laughs> so many girls, of them. these ladies, these the teens and black young and adults and all that stuff. I'm tired of these women. Going out with the bad one when they really don't need one. They don't need that. Oh my god, he's made this same video so many Dude, times. They what? don't need the bad boy. What do you boy? think happened to him? Like, you know, if, if okay. you had to play it out. Here's what happened to him. He wants a extremely attractive women, but he is not an extremely attractive man, nor is he extremly intelligent. And he watches the extremely attractive women want... with the extremely attractive bad boys. Yeah, basically he wants some, some model yeah, girlfriend like... that's just totally totally obedient to him and just do, he just agrees with whatever he says, does what he wants to do. Despite the fact that there's like no reason that would ever happen. Like he's someone, dumb vacant. Someone messaged me and said that the beast actually accepted their friend request. Cool. Uh, if we could get the beast on the show, I'd like to have him on here. Sure. Yeah, oh, man. I would. <laughs> Let's have the beast. <laughs> You know, even recently, uh, we, we we've had a few uh, cool people, uh, you know, agree to come on. So, the beast. Nice to have the beast on. Yeah. Oh, here's something you may not have known. Uh, I just wanted to tell you now before I forget. Uh, Sargon was on St uh, Steven Crowder's program. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, isn't that weird? St somebody actually, the, w the way I heard about it was someone actually like sent Sargon my video where I basically demonstrated that Steven Crowder is a lying sack of shit, which was later validated by the courts, by the way. Mm -hmm. And did he respond? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Tired of it. Yes, I might be saying the same old shit that I said in my videos beforehand. Yeah. Yes! What? But pause look, the pause this. This is the... The beast has some self-awareness. A little. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Just a, a, a smidgen. A, a smidgen peg. of... Yeah, a smidgen of self-awareness. Like, I know I said this before. It's like... Then why are you saying it for the fucking 10 millionth time? He ate his Wheaties this he, morning, dude. He got him smit. He got some ginseng or something. Smidgen. A little smidge. smidge. A smidge. He got him a smidge. One smidgen. little smidgey you know, I had never heard the term smidgen until I was watching Beverly Hillbillies one time. And really? Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, smidgen. <laughs> what the fuck is a smidgen? Yeah, yeah. Give me a smidgen of syrup, woman. Yeah, yeah. He was giving someone cooking directions. Yep. And he was like, a smidgen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had never heard that term in my life. I learned it watching Beverly Hillbillies. That's pretty cool. Who says reruns. TV doesn't teach you nothing? Yeah. Nothing. Truth. This is a lot. It is a I'm lie. getting tired of the bad boys getting all the women. 
I'm getting tired. The beast, you bad. Sick and you a bad motherfucker, tired. beast. I want to find. I I, I want to bring the beast on and help him find a woman that likes him. Yeah, we'll, we'll help the beast find true love. Yeah, we'll hook the beast up. You know, because there's too many bad boys out there. Getting all the girls where Beast, the nicest guy of all, goes home with nothing. He's so nice. You know, hey, you know what? Maybe the Beast is just limiting his scope a little bit too much. You think that could be the problem? That you think you think his impossibly high standards for uh, for like you know relationship might be holding him back? Impossibly GJ. high standards? What are you talking about? The Beast is a catch. The Beast is a catch you throw back. Maybe GJ. you should be asking him to catch get and release. Married with. Oh no, the beast is too too heterosexual. There's no way. And there's no doubt. Wait a minute. Ladies, listen to me. Listen, listen to me to this and guy. listen to me. Uh, listen dude. to me and listen to me good. I'm well, nice. This guy is wearing a shirt that says I mean not a shirt, a fucking hat that says work hard and play hard. The beast will play hard, ladies. If any if any girls listening to this are interested, the beast is available. And he's tired of vapid women. <laughs> He's tired of women that don't appreciate his physique. <laughs> he, you know, look, the Beast is the real deal, guys. The Beast is the real fucking deal. And, you know, furthermore, he wants to treat you right. He's not a bad boy. The Beast is a sensitive and caring, kind individual. He wants to get to know you slowly. He doesn't want a physical relationship quickly. He wants to get to know you and ch cherish those, you know, walks on the beach or, you know, going to the library and discussing a, a, a good novel or something. The beast is really just looking for love. So if you really want to help the beast out, you guys just need to find the beast and, you know, just get with him. Stop going after help. those bad boys. No girls. bad boys. Go after the beast. The beast. Good. After I'm done with this video, you need to change for the better. Change! Change. Change bitch. we can believe in. The so, beast. So, you say a guy who doesn't abuse you or anything is a boring guy. What? Yeah, yeah. I, I hear Who's... that all the time from women. <laughs> women all the time. You know, my boyfriend beats me, but, you know, he's interesting, he's, so. He's great and everything, but he doesn't really abuse me. You know, I need a guy that abuses me, because if I don't have that... Yeah? Oh, let me tell you this. Let it me tell you doesn't something, matter how boring the guy is. As what? long as <laughs> it doesn't matter how boring. So he he's is. admitting he's a boring fuck. He's all like, it doesn't matter how fat, unattractive, and boring, and don't have a job they are. You still need to date someone just like me. It's like, dude, why don't you quit talking about this like in, in like general terms and admit like you don't have a girlfriend. You're really desperate. You're willing to do anything. Like I'll do anything, please. But he's not willing to do anything. He wants them to do everything. No, I'm saying, and that, that's if the beast was honest. Has a oh, good right. personality. Now, oh, how can someone have a good well, personality if they're boring? The guys that are nice, that are good, they may be boring, they may be unexciting, but they sure can look after you. They sure can. <laughs> yeah, when I look at the beast, I think that's a guy that, who can take care of other people. That's the worst sales approach ever. This car isn't safe. It has terrible fuel efficiency. Oh, it's pretty much a death trap. You know you need one, though. Come ahead and go ahead and buy one. It's like, that's the worst sales pitch ever. He's like, they might be unexciting. They might be unattractive. They might make fucking paint drawing on a wall seem exciting. But come on, you need to get with them because I'll take care of you. It's like the beast room looks like a fucking hovel with shit just thrown in like the corner. And he's like, ah, take care of you, baby. Does the beast even have a fucking job? Because well, they know their shit. Swag. Now, now here's the thing. Ladies, the size really matter. Oh God. No. oh, God. Evolution. Evolution. Beast, you just out yourself as a micro penis. I think he might be talking about his body size. He has said this so many no, times. No, I'm interpreting it a size different way. Size does not matter. I'm interpreting it a different way. It does not matter. Do you, th you think the beast has a micro penis? I mean, like, I'm a at his weight, I mean, it, it must, like, <coughs> envelop a good portion of the shaft. So I would say that probably just because of that, yes. I mean, but if he's talking about the, his, his, like, physique, it's like, well, that's just, uh, I mean, what do you want them to Girls do? Girls should not have preferences. Yeah, they should not have preferences or standards, like I do. God. Well, 
you know, big or fat or whatever you want to fucking say. I'm fat, yeah, I'm fat and I'm ugly. But... Oh, God. Well, maybe you could go on a diet. You can certainly lose weight. Maybe you'll still be ugly, but at least you'll be in shape. You know I mean, what? Like, I really got, don't care. He's still got ugly and stupid going against him. I don't know if it's gonna. Well, that would, it would it would raise his stock a little bit at least. Someone said. Uh, someone in the in the chat room said, "Force Ben to get gay married to the unfunny comedian." That'd and, be awesome. But, well, I'm sorry to say, I am not one of the. I am not the drunken peasant that the unfunny comedian has a crush on. Oh, wow. I know. I know which one it is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna venture a guess. <laughs> yeah. Who? TJ. No. <laughs> no, nope, uh, it's you, Scotty. Uh, uh, he thinks you're a cutie just pie. Just kill me now. And, and I said, I was like, you have a crush on Scotty? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, would you blow him? He's like, yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Gay marriage, Scotty. <laughs> uh, it's not yeah. the bleach in the world after that. Yeah. I <laughs> like I, That was... He just kind of like fell right into that one. I thought for sure it'd be TJ. Nope. nope. <laughs> I'm too fat you know what? for him. You shouldn't care what a guy looks like. Stop going for looks. Yeah. I know we have our personal preferences and our Wait opinions, but this the preference what? and this opinion sucks. Beast, you have high standards for what you want women to look like. Yeah, you said, Mr. said you want some fine ass bitches, Beast. You've said that. You've even sa stated that you don't want to date a fat girl. Yeah, you want to date a girl that's, you know, so in you, shape. So you basically want to have ultra high standards, but you think that girls should just have the lowest standards possible. They, all they need to do is just get up with a boring, ugly, fat guy that can take care of them, supposedly. Which, that's a, it's a dubious proposition. It's a, yeah, a very dubious take proposition. Care of, Look at I'll the beast. Take care of you. Yeah, like, what does that mean? I, I'll fucking make you a sandwich? I mean, I'll support you? What does that mean? Like, I, I don't even get that. And it's like, dude, you think women just all want to be taken care of? Like, it's not every woman. It's just so fucking ignorant. It's just unbelievable. The beast. This is bullshit. <laughs> like, like, ladies, you can't be looking at guys because of their looks. It doesn't yes, they can. matter what yes, they the can. guy looks like. If the guy is fat and ugly, who gives a damn? Then they have every right to reject they them. You, you stupid fuck. They do care. They have every right to decide who they want to be with. They don't have to just be with you out of because you're a desperate loser. Sorry, buddy. Girls, I'm desperate. Please I suck. Fuck me, even Please. though I'm garbage. Please. Please. I'm not willing to make any positive improvements or changes, but still sleep with me. Please. <laughs> Someone said the unscotty comedian. That'd be their child. Fucking... <laughs> dude, I would fucking kill that dude if he tried to fucking <laughs> whip his dick out near me. No, no, no. He wants you to whip out your dick. Fuck no. <laughs> he might be really good, Scotty. Just close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> close your eyes and look up. Dude, you could fucking win a blowjob in the fucking contest. You could fucking what is it, like, suck a fucking golf ball through a fucking garden hose. I don't give a shit. That dude is fucking <laughs> so ugly. Oh, no. And so don't terrible. Don't be an asshole. Don't You're be. so mean, Scotty. Yeah. Fuck no, you gotta talk about some nasty dude sucking my dick. I don't want that motherfucker anywhere near my dick. <laughs> Before he tries to come near my dick, he's gonna fucking be BAM, bitch! <laughs> Time to play the knockout game. The knockout, the knockout game. game. Go out the, go out with the guy and try him out. Like really, just try. And, like, I think you should stick with the guy because. You should like try him and you before, should stick with him. It doesn't matter how boring the guy is, and yes, it doesn't it does. matter what how his does looks it not are. Matter, dude, stupid fuck. Are you divorced from fucking reality, dude? Like, it doesn't matter what women actually want. They should want what I want them to want, and then they just stick with it. Like, have you ever met? Has this guy ever actually met a fucking woman? Because I've never met a woman that responded well to, "Bitch, do what I say, and that's it." <laughs> like, that's like the, pretty much the worst possible thing you could possibly say to any woman. You're not attracted to me. Well, you should Too be. Too fucking bitch. bad, bitch. Must be a lesbian. 
as long as the guy has a good personality and can take care of you and love you for the rest of your life. You're, you're doing something Not right. I don't love them. I don't even. You don't even know this girl, and you um, just love her. You know, I don't like abusing women. I don't. Congratulations. I don't. I'm not that type of guy. Good job, buddy. Wow, Beast. You finally said one thing that makes fucking sense. Congratulations. The beast does not like to abuse women. He still he may. do it if he the situation calls for it. This hurts me more than it hurts you. But I he does not you. like it, girls. Yeah.